for reading, for updating and for deleting records from a database. If you remember in the last tutorial we have shown how to do these operations when you have a form with only one check uh, with only one text box and a submit button. We will practically add a checkbox to that so that most of the code is already in place. We will add a checkbox and we will show how a simple steps can be done to include a checkbox along with this text box to have the crude forms uh, CRUD operations ready. Now before I proceed any further let me first of all have a look at what we have already done. This is the project that has already been done in the last tutorial. This is a completed one with the text box. Let us run this project to see what we have with us at present. When we run this project we see that we had one text box and one submit button. The records were displayed on the same page. We could delete any record. We could edit any record. For example, I have clicked this edit. The record moves there and if I make any change to this one, then the record gets updated. These are complete CRUD operations for a form with one single text box and today we will add a checkbox to this form to see how a checkbox can operate in this mode. We'll close this and now I will open the solution explorer and open the index.cshtml file. This is the form that you can see form method is post name prod.name input this is a hidden that we have already done. Now when we want to add an extra field when we want to add a checkbox there will be a field for it. For example there is a field called name. There is a name property that is bound to a name column in the database table. We have to add another field so let us add one field to the model class. We will have to add a field to the model class because entity framework core it operates on a model. So this is the model that you already have the product class, the id auto generated and the name. And just below it we have the product context. This code we have already discussed so I will not take now. Right now my point is to concentrate on this part and I will manually do everything with you. So I will add a property for a checkbox. The property will be a boolean type public bool. I will give any name is active followed by get set. As you can see I am doing with this all with, uh, with you purposely so that you can see how easy is it to do everything. Now I have added this property bool is active I am extending my form. No change is required on product context I simply have to add a property to my class product. Let me build it so that it gets available throughout the project wherever I want to use it. Let the build succeed the build has succeeded and now I will go to the index.cshtml form there I will add one field for that checkbox. Make some space and I will now include label. I will include a label the display label that you can see that appears adjacent to your checkboxes prod dot is active and I can write some text into this. This is any display text that appears adjacent to your checkbox. Now I will add the checkbox for that I will write input input ASP for is equal to prod dot is active this is bound to the is active property and I will close it. This is the only thing that I have to do. You can notice that I have not put anything called checkbox or anything. Your tag helpers they are smart enough. They will deduce the type based on the type of data type of this property. 
this property is a bool true false type property so an input called checkbox will be automatically generated for you now let us now see uh, go to the backing class there we have already done so probably these are the only two changes you will need here no change needs to be done to the backing class why let us have a look wherever we are acting we are acting solely on this bound property for prod if you remember the last tutorial we are acting on this bind bind property for product prod when you add a field to it this product this will automatically take care that field will travel with this prod wherever it is used so i want you to understand it very clearly that i had to make only two changes one is is active the second is